Nintendo is Robin Hood has called for their friends so that they could put on the TV show.
I love the cow. Please take us to be that little donkey that carries Mary to Bethlehem. Of course I will. Which only we think so lovely. Woo! Say. Mary and Joseph Jesus, they brought him some special gifts. 
were huge fans of Christmas. They loved the lights, the food, the time spent with their family. One of their favourite traditions was going to the Christmas market in Air Square in Galway. Each year they brought one special new Christmas decoration for the tree at home and the sights, smells and festive fun always started their holidays off on a good note. This year it was no different. They always planned an early rise on the day of the visit. To make the most out of the day there were so many stalls to visit new foods to try and best of all was the ride in the big wheel later in the evening when it was all lit up you could see all of galway city from the top pure magic good morning up you get time to get ready 
All the souls will be sold out by the time we get there at this rate. Amelia banged on John's door and burst into the room. John, wake up or we're going to be late. John covered his head. Five more minutes. I was just dreaming about Minecraft. No time for dreaming. Thank you, ready. We're going to go away. And with that, John jumped out of his bed, all dressed, and ran into the kitchen. Amelia got dressed quickly. Both of them ate their pancakes as fast as lightning and ran to the car. I'm so excited, I just can't fight it. I'm going in front. Not if I can get there first. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control, I think I like it. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. And I know, I know, I know, I want to. I want to go to Galway. When they got to Galway, the children loved all the lights. They thought it was cool. There were lots of stalls dotted around Air Square. Where would they start first? Are you ready for the market? Here's 20 euro. Each. Don't spend it all on one stall. I want you both to stick together and don't wander off from each other. If you get lost, we'll meet back at the big wheel, okay? I can't wait! Did you both hear what your mom said? You meet here at Tourist Information in one hour. If you're in a danger, just call us on your mobile phones, alright? Yes, Dad, we heard they're always responsible. Alright then, go enjoy yourselves and don't walk too far. Okay, Mom. Okay, Mom. Okay, Dad, don't worry. Okay, Amelia, where to first? Well, I want to listen to the carol singers first. Come on, John, it's my favourite Christmas song.
Check in our room in the lair. Upstairs, see if you have a woman who's not strong and can make her day. That's one that's it. I don't know, Amelia. She looks a bit scary. Never let it down. What harm can it do? You. I have something for you and your sister. Come over here. You will not be disappointed. Hello. Right. Yes, dear? Um, are you selling something? Why, yes. Would you like this? The old woman takes a beautiful snow globe from under her cloak. A snow globe? How much does it cost? Oh, it's free. Cool, we'll take it. Look inside, Amelia and John. It is your destiny. Right, now I'm really freaked out. Why am I glitching? Ah! ah! John and Amelia find themselves lifted off their feet and traveling through a crazy vortex. Air Square and the Christmas market seems to fall away from them. They grab hands to steady themselves as they hear faint music in the distance. Suddenly they land with a thump. Disorientated, they look around and try and get their bearings. What? Where are we? We're not in Kansas anymore, Dorothy. What do you want about? My name isn't Dorothy. How am I meant to know where we are? Wizard of Oz, John. Come on. What just happened? Okay, I am like really freaked out here. Why is everyone wearing old-fashioned clothes? Are we in the middle of a play? Why does everyone look so different? What are we wearing? John, where's my Christmas jumper gone? Emma, come on. Your mother and I do not know who you both were. Who are you? Her name isn't Emma. Really, Jack? It is dangerous out here, so come on. My name isn't Jack either, but okay. What do you mean by dangerous? Did you not hear it? The warning signs are going off. We have to get to shelter. Why are we hiding in a shed? Oh, oh, thank God you're all okay. It's not safe for you here. It's not safe for anyone, really. We need to send you away to the countryside. Uh, you will be safe there as part of Operation Pied Piper. All the local children are going. What? I want to go home. I don't understand. You will take the train and you'll need to stick together. All of the other families here in London are doing the same. This bit seems to go on, on forever. A kind family will look after you. I know this is a hard decision to make, but I know you'll be safer there. What? London? The Blitz? What year is this? 1944, of course, Emma. Were you injured on the way to the shelter? Let me look at you. No, I'm fine. 1944? John, what's going on? I don't know. I'm as confused as you. The children are tired and confused. They have had a long, treacherous journey from the year 2021 all the way back to World War II, London in 1944. They try to rest and get some sleep. John, how are you sleeping? I could not even close my eyes. Good morning. Get up into your best clothes. We're going to go now while it's safe. What are we having for breakfast? Sorry, no time and nothing to eat anywhere here. Come on, you two. You're going to miss the train. I told you to stop messing around. Your father is waiting for you. Tell the kids to hurry up, Janice. I'm trying, Dave. Come on. We need to get to the station. But why do we need to go? I've already explained it to you a thousand times. We're in the middle of a war, kids. London isn't safe anymore, and we only have enough money for the two of you to go. There's a war? Quiet now. Are the kids going to the station yet? Working on it. Hurry up, the train's leaving soon. Who are you? What's with you today? I'm your mother, and I swear, if I hear one more word... Okay, fine, Mum. You win. <laughs> hey, Amelia, do you know what's going on here? Not a clue. All I know is what she said. We're heading on a train to avoid bombs, apparently. Who do you think that guy talking was? If Janice is our mom, then that would leave Dave as our dad. We're here. Don't forget your tags. Show these to the train conductor and they'll look after you. Please look after this child. Bye. Just play along, John, until we figure out what's going on. 
Stand near the both of you while I take a photograph to remember you by. Look after yourselves and each other. We love you both so much. We'll miss you, Mum. We'll never forget you. I don't have the slightest idea of what's going on here. Me neither. It just keeps getting more mysterious. Amelia and John take a seat in an empty carriage of the train. They are tired and confused. They started the day in Galway, Ireland in 2021. And now, inexplicably, they have travelled back in time to war tour in England during World War II. Let's go, John. This is our seat. I'm tired. I need some sleep. Me too. Amelia, I'm afraid we'll never get back to our parents in Galway. This is surreal. What sort of witch was that old lady at the Christmas market? I can't believe we've ended up here. I know, John. It feels like a bad dream. We have to get home, and I have a feeling in my bones that we will. Think of it as a quest, like from one of your video games. If we came here, there has to be a way to go home again. Keep an eye out for a snow globe. Maybe that's the way to go home. All aboard. Next stop, the countryside. Tickets, please, children. Where are we going? You're being sent to Devon. You'll love it there. There's lots of farm and animals and fields. But you will soon find your feet soon enough. Thanks, mister. You children should try get some rest now. We have a long journey ahead of us. Amelia and John settle down for the long journey. Their sleep is restless and fitful. Uh, they are anxious about what lies ahead of them and dream of their Galway parents and the events of the past few hours. We are here. We're finally here. Come on, John, let's see what will happen now. Coming with us, we will take good care of you. Come along. Okay, new parents. We have brought you this present to show you how much we care and to help you to settle into life here in Devon. Yes, children, we want you to have this snow globe I received from Santa many years ago when I was small. It makes me feel safe and happy. Yes, we want you to know that we will look after you. We know this has been a difficult time for you and you are being so brave to leave your home to be part of Operation Pi Piper. John, it's a snow globe. I see it, I see it. It couldn't be the same one from the market, could it? Come on, hands on together. Let's see what happens. Amelia and John grab the snow globe confused. John holds the snow globe first and turns to Amelia and she touches it with her hand. What if they transformed into? They're square and I don't have fingers. Why is everything square? I don't know, but I want my fingers back. Where are we, John? This place is weird. We must.
must be in the snow globe, Amelia. This is just crazy. Hello, people I've never met. Ah! Who are you? I am Ferdinand. Huh. You already know who I am. I am Jack Frost. I am Jack Frost. You know, the guy who gives you frost. Never heard of you. Nope, me neither. Seriously? You guys not be from around here. Everyone knows who I am. I'm quite the big deal. I'm going to ruin Christmas with my trusty polar bear sidekick, Frostbite. Yes, I work with Jack Frost and I might look cute and cuddly, but I should be feared. Bow down in front of me, you commoners. Say what? Are you for real? It's a matter of superiority. If you don't, I'll have to break out the Christmas jokes. That will keep you on your toes. What are you talking about? My Christmas jokes will freeze you in your tracks. What do snowmen take when the sun gets too hot? I don't know. What do snowmen take when the sun gets too hot? A chill pill. I don't get it. Enough frostbite. No more of this obsession of being comedian. Nobody gets your jokes. It's time to claim a rightful place in the Villain Hall of Fame. Let's show the snow villain what we are made of. Aww. Jack Frost with his snow goggles, his white coat and his evil glare along with Frostbite, the polar bear, be begin destroying the snow village and attacking the whole population. Amelia and John look on in horror. John, we should throw snowballs at them and knock the polar bear and Jack Frost out. That's a great idea. Snow villagers run up to Amelia and John in panic. Please, help us. We need to get the time freezer. It's the only way to stop Jack Frost and his dastardly polar bear. There is a tunnel in the village where one of their most secretive weapons is hidden. As they thought of a plan to stop the bad guys, Jack and Frostbite were destroying Christmas and any hope of saving it was going up in smoke. I will distract them while you sneak up through the tunnel and get the secret weapon, the time freezer. That's a great plan. We will. Help me, we want to fight back! As Amelia and the villagers sneak up through the tunnel, John was throwing snowballs as fast as he could. This started a snowball fight. Grab the weapons! This plan better work. I can't imagine life without our beautiful village. Got them! Here, gather as many as we can. We'll need them all. Let's get them. We'll have to sneak up on them in stealth mode. Are you two ready for the fight of your lives? Ready for action! Ready as I will ever be. Let's get this over with. Ring-a-ling-a-ling ding-dong when Jack Frost phone watch. Intruder, intruder alert. What's going on? Grr, we will have to get you all. How dare you challenge our villainous ways. Amelia and the villagers emerge from the tunnel and Amelia is clutching the time freezer triumphantly in her hand. Let's freeze these two villains in time. That's a wrap. Thank you so much. Let's get our Christmas Santa sacks and take the baddies away to county jail. These guys won't be hurting anyone for much longer. How can we ever re repay you? Well, there is one way. Yes. Have you seen a snow globe around here? We need to get home. Sure. The snow globe appears every evening in the nether portal. Go there and I'm sure you'll find your way home. We hope so. This has been one crazy adventure. Thanks again, and best of luck! The children teleport through the nether portal and sure enough to find themselves back in Christmas Market in Air Square. They turn around and who is behind them but their parents? Mom! Dad! We went into the past and a weird Minecraft world with this snow globe.
I think you two have eaten too many pancakes. What are you raving on about? We're telling the truth. The snow globe has brought us so many different worlds and times over the past few days. It was crazy. All we wanted was to get back home to you both. Over the past few days? It's only been 20 minutes since we last saw you. Now we know you're having us on. Seriously, Mum and Dad, come over here and look at this doll. An old lady gave us the snow globe and we travelled back in time to World War II London. Their parents didn't believe them, so they went back to the stall. The old lady was nowhere to be seen. The stall was abandoned, and all that was left on the back wall was a black and white photograph. The children peered at the photo, and what did they see? It was them dressed in their old clothes at the train station in 1944. Great Photoshop, Amelia and John. You really know how to get us going. Afraid it's December 18th, not the 1st of April, though. Come on, the carolers are singing again. Let's go listen. Don't think they're going to believe us, Amelia. It even feels like a dream to me. I know, John, but it has to be true. We even still have the snow globe. I know my life will never be the same ever again. I'll always remember the Christmas market. They can't take away our memories from us. Dear God, we thank you for the fun and excitement of Christmas. Thank you for the wonderful story that tells us about the birth of Jesus. Thank you for sending us your Son, a gift from you to this world. As we look at the lights on the tree, they remind us of the light Jesus brought to this earth. When we sing songs and carols, that reminds us of the hope Jesus showed to everyone. And as we open the gifts and presents, remind us that Jesus is the best gift ever. Help us to share special times with family and friends this Christmas, and to share the light, hope and gift of Jesus to the world. Amen. And may the person of our most of God, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down upon you all and remain with you forever. God bless you. Enjoy baby Jesus being with us. <laughs>